It is my honor to welcome you to this mini retreat, Profiles in Excellence, Extraordinary Women and Men in Challenging Times. This mini retreat is offered with prayers for courage and strength and in deep gratitude for the sacrifices of our healthcare professionals and first responders. Each mini retreat segment focuses on women and men in history, remarkable, extraordinary, and holy women and men who responded to crises in their own time. We live in extraordinary times. In the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, extraordinary people, nurses, doctors, hospital and nursing home staff, first responders, researchers, and others have stepped forward to educate the community, care for the sick, console and reassure the fearful, and seek a cure. This segment of the retreat series is being given by Bishop Alex Aklan, who is a bishop in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles for the San Fernando Pastoral Region. Bishop Aklan will be sharing his reflections on St. John Bosco with the theme, Faith and Compassion During the Epidemic. May the goodness he models be an inspiration to your own daily work. And may Christ the healer protect you and your families. The cholera epidemic of 1854 in Italy brought about conditions and practices that we see replicated in the current COVID-19 pandemic. Physical distancing, a meticulous observance of hygiene, uh, the building of makeshift hospitals, unbearable symptoms of the disease, and fear of touching an infected person, living or dead. With medical sciences still pretty much undeveloped in the 19th century, St. John Bosco could relate to how tough it is for healthcare workers today as he tried to attend to the cholera victims of his time. St. John Bosco, also known as Don Bosco, and his team of volunteer caregivers chose to minister to the sick with plain common sense, a lot of compassion, and a deep faith, just as so many of you are doing today in the healthcare field. St. John Bosco insisted on thoroughly cleaning the rooms where the cholera patients stayed. He instructed his priests and volunteer young men to rinse their hands with vinegar, the equivalent of their hand sanitizers at that time. They helped in building makeshift hospitals called lazarettos, where the overwhelming number of patients could be treated. And they avoided crowding the rooms by reducing the number of patients in each room. The cholera epidemic in Italy had a high mortality rate and the symptoms of the disease were terrifying. So it was really difficult to find anyone who was willing to care for the afflicted, even their own families. Moved with compassion, St. John Bosco and his brother priests became involved caring for patients in their locality. When their numbers were not enough and more workers were needed, Don Bosco sent an appeal to his pupils to help out. These were young men, of course. In impassioned talks that moved hearts, he spoke to them about the indignity to which many of uh, uh, cholera victims uh, were being subjected and how uh, they were dying alone because there was no one to care for them. Uh, now, the appeal that he made uh, to engage in these works of mercy touched the hearts of about 40 young men and they volunteered their services to be on constant call to carry the, the ill to the hospitals and even to uh, the dead, the, uh, carry the dead to the mortuaries, uh, seek out those who have been abandoned by families in their homes and were not being cared for uh, anymore. The work of mercy that we now see our healthcare workers giving those who have fallen to the disease replicate the compassion, the dignity, and the charity that St. John Bosco and his team gave to the sick uh, during the cholera epidemic. Now, to equip his team spiritually, uh, St. John Bosco uh, insisted that they have recourse to prayer, uh, implore the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary, put themselves in this state of grace by avoiding sin, and make a good confession and receive Holy Communion worthily. And with deep faith, he reassured his volunteers that they needed to trust in God's grace as they aided those who were sick. 
St. John Bosco is known to have a deep devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary under the title Mary Help of Christians. And he emphasized the power of Our Lady in combating disease. He was known to say, when in danger or in need, have recourse to Mary. The Blessed Virgin has always helped me and always will. It is told that St. John Bosco would kneel in front of the altar, imploring the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede with God so that his volunteers would be spared this courage of cholera, just as we continue to pray in this time to our Blessed Mother for our healthcare workers who are caring for COVID-19 patients and for all those who are impacted by the virus. Uh, as a matter of fact, on May the 1st, the bishops of the United States and Canada reconsecrated America to the care of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now today, as we face our own health epidemic with COVID-19, Don Bosco's example of tremendous compassion, hard work, deep faith, and untiring prayer can be an example to us in our time of need to preserve our trust in God. He was known to say, be humble and patient, and the Lord Jesus will give you the will and the means. The priest's reassurances moved those who were working with him to follow his effective advice for prayer and righteous living. And in the end, this, along with Don Bosco's common sense for observing hygiene and physical distancing to avoid the transmission of the cholera germ, resulted in not even one of his young volunteers being stricken by the disease while caring for hundreds of sick people. And so let us pray to St. John Bosco. St. John Bosco, intercede for us with God the Almighty Father, that he will look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to those who have died, comfort to those who, are, who mourn, peace to the dying, strength and protection to the healthcare workers, and courage to reach out to all in love. We make our prayer in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.